Wow, hard act to follow. <laughs> okay, so um, I have the honor of presenting the Bread and Roses Award. Um, but I want to tell you a little bit about it first because everybody might not know. So uh, the Bread and Roses Award, if you remember the, the refrain and the song that she sang, Bread and Roses, uh, that's where it comes from. And uh, every year we award this to the woman who has done the most for advancement of women in Muskegon County. And this award has a long history and I think that every woman's place, when they did the Women's Equality Day, I think they started the uh, uh, Bread and Roses Award. And it's to celebrate the, um, uh, the day when the 19th Amendment was adopted and women got the right to vote in August 26, 1920. Unfortunately, it was not the case for black women until much later, 1965, I believe. So that's, that's on us. Um, so Muskegon is one of the few counties that celebrate Women's Equality Day. I was surprised to learn that uh, in the state of Michigan. The winner of this year's Women's, uh, excuse me, Bread and Roses Award is Tracy Dobson. And it's no surprise to any of us that know her. Um, and I would say that in my view, she's one of the most outstanding recipients of this award ever. So, and there's a lot of good ones. <laughs> so after getting her undergraduate degree, uh, uh, and then a law degree from University of Michigan, Tracy was professor of, uh, and associate dean of MSU in women's studies, and this is the one that really surprised me, and fisheries and wildlife. <laughs> Go figure. But she has done so much for the advancement of progressive women and progressive causes her whole life. With her partner, she created at MSU a Center for Gender and Global Context. You'll have to ask her what that means. <laughs> um, Michigan State even created the Tracy, Adop Tracy Dobson Award for Social Action. Now, there's a lot of people in this room who are social activists, but none of us have that honor of having an award named after us. It's hard to name all the, all the campaigns that she's worked on or raise significant donations uh, in their support. So I'll name a few. She did two events for Hillary Skolton for Congress, Robin, uh, Kendra Robinson for judge, Rob Davidson for Congress, two events, and these were at her house, Colleen Lamonti, and early, early in her career, back in the 80s, um, she worked, uh, or was <coughs> chair, I think, of the campaign for Jim Marsankowski, who ran for Congress, and that was her first campaign. She, she did doors in Lansing, when she lived in Lansing, for Debbie Stabenow. And she probably called half of the uh, sponsors in the room uh, to be sponsors. <laughs> and, um, and she does that every year. Uh, she also uh, has been president of PDWC. No, I'm sorry. She uh, was on the board of PDWC for many years. Um, those of you who live in White Lake know her as the president of Road, reviving our democracy now. Um, for many years, and this is a really effective progressive group up there. <clears throat> Tracy and her devoted husband, who's sitting next to her, and her daughter, Cheney, and she has two darling granddaughters. I am very fortunate to call Tracy my friend and mentor, and we are all so proud of you. <laughs> PDWC 10 or 12 years ago, we met at a, around a table of the, the group of us who came together every month. There were about 10 of us. 
and we were at a table at the Holiday Inn. Ten people. Well, Obama had been elected, and we were, you know, feeling somewhat energized, and it was all very good. And we were doing what we could, trying to recruit women and help people get elected. Well, I, I was pleased to fi have found this group, believe me, to find these wonderful women who are doing this very important work. But a few years on, there was this upheaval, this terrible upheaval in 2016. Well, imagine what happened to PDWC then. Boom! There were so many people that wanted to join PDWC and women running for office. It was unbelievable what happened then. And uh, it was, it's just been thrilling, absolutely thrilling to be a part of this organization and to be helping and working together in so many team events to find women who are willing to run for office, to help them run for office. Many of them have been successful and many more will be successful. We're going to keep going. Look what's happened in Michigan, as Dana was recounting. We could never have imagined that the top three jobs would be held by women. I mean, we're looking for women. We've got Kylie Jackson, Amanda Mazur, all these wonderful, Daisy, young women who are now going to be stepping up, taking over. I mean, we have worked really hard, but we're looking to you because some of us are stepping back. So anyway, thank you so much. It's been grand being a part of this group and I love you all. Thank you.